morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to our daily dose of Success God's Way. This is Erin Harrigan, your hustle with heart and health coach, helping everyone attain results for total health and wealth with Arbon and helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth. We are continuing in our series from this uh, Bible study plan, Passion and Purpose, by Charles Stanley, and he's giving us the seven essentials to pursuing our purpose with passion in the Lord. And so today we are looking at essential number four, which is using your gifts. And, you know, we are each created with gifts and talents. So there are gifts and talents that we are born with. And then when we accept Christ, there are the gifts that are then bestowed upon us beyond that. Um, and he has created each of us with very distinct gifts. So you may look around and see some of the things that people are really good at and you think, oh, I wish I was good at that. But don't overlook what you are good at and what you have been made to do. And Charles Stanley says, when God developed your God-given attributes, when you develop your God-given attributes and use them to serve other people in love, great things are accomplished. But if we try to operate outside of these gifts um, and function apart from them or attempt to use our gifts in ways that God did not intend, we have a life filled with anxiety, frustration, and failure. Anybody? Anybody raising your hand on that one? Yep. Totally there. And you know what that feels like. You know when it just doesn't feel congruent with who you are. You just don't feel in sync because maybe what you're doing is not aligned to the gifts that you have. So to reach our full potential, we have to gain an awareness of what the Lord has given us. And we need to seek to know, develop, and then find God-approved ways to use our God-given talents. Um, so again, there are natural gifts and talents that we are bestowed at birth, um, and there are thousands of them. So, so generally, those fall into things like aptitude, intelligence, intuitive ability, emotions, talent in a particular area of work or performance, interests, and our likes or dislikes. And then in addition to that, God has given us capacity, propensity, aspirations, personality, free will, a measure of faith, a conscience, a communication abilities, a network of relationships, and a generation and location. So all of this is perfectly planned by him. And isn't that amazing that, that the God that created the, the world, that created the universe, that created the, the water and the, the rocks and the sky that I see outside of my window, took the time to specifically place in every single one of us gifts. It's just incredible to me. And then there are the gifts that are released within us after we receive Jesus. And these are things like prophesying, ministering, teaching, exhorting, giving, leading, showing mercy. So I really encourage you to go do a spiritual gifts inventory. I talked about this in one of my podcasts, uh, but you can find them online. Uh, if, you, if you can't find it, let me know. I'll be happy to direct you to my church's website, chesapeakechurch.org. There's a place in there that you can get to where you can do a spiritual gifts inventory. And it's so important to understand what your spiritual gifts are. I kind of had this aha moment when I did mine because I was like, oh, that makes so much sense why I'm drawn to do certain things or why when I'm doing certain work, I feel like I could do it all day long. I never get tired of it and I would do it for free. So, um, so these gifts are incredibly important. So I want to take you to a couple of scriptures. The first one is Ephesians 2.10, which says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And the bottom line is that we were created for these things even before we were born. And all we have to do is surrender to the Lord and his designed purpose. We cannot find or achieve this on our own. It is only by abiding in him that we can bring that to fruition in our life. And then I want you to read through Romans 12. All of Romans 12 is awesome, but he specifically talks to Romans 12, 
um, verses 4 through 8. Um, and I'm just going to read you this one piece. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them in proportion to our faith. Oh my goodness, you guys, so much good stuff. So that is essential number four. Tomorrow we will dig into um, essential number five, which is the right relationship. So get down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Get on over to our Success God's Way community. Post in there. Let us know how we can pray for you. If you've done your spiritual gifts inventory, share with us what your spiritual gifts are and how you see those working in your life, especially as you're building your God-centered business. And then lastly, certainly if I can help you on this journey of pursuing success, God, God's way is your hustle with heart coach. I'd love to be able to do that. And then don't forget health. Yesterday we talked about health being an essential. If you would love to do a health reset, I'm your girl. Let's chat. All right. Have a fantastic Tuesday and I'll see you guys tomorrow.